The Americas are home to many different groups of indigenous peoples who have lived here for thousands of years. When the Europeans arrived to the Americas, names for new cities, states, provinces, and countries were sometimes borrowed from indigenous languages. In this video, we're going to look at 15 names of cities, provinces, and states in Canada and the United States which came from indigenous languages. The city of Chicago is an internationally known city, but the origins of the name Chicago are less commonly known. The word Chicago comes from the name of a wild leek native to North America. The word itself comes from the Miami, Illinois language spoken around the Chicago area. The word actually entered into French first, and then English borrowed the word from French. The city of Seattle is actually named after a person, in honor of Chief Seal, who is a former chief of the Duwamish and the Suquamish tribes whose traditional territory is in Washington state. Number three is Milwaukee, which comes from the Potawatomi language. The word itself means good and beautiful land. Next is Miami. The city of Miami was named after the Miami River. The Miami River gets its name from the Tunica language, which is a language isolate. A language isolate is a language which has no known relatives, so it doesn't belong to a language family. Several indigenous languages around the world are considered language isolates because they are either extinct with few records of their language, or they are understudied. Larger languages like Korean and Basque are also language isolates. The Tunica word Miami means sweet water and was the name of a lake which is connected to the later named Miami River. Up north in Canada, the province and the city of Quebec both get their name from the Algonquin word for it narrows, meaning a water strait or channel. Interestingly enough, the city of Detroit also means a water strait or channel, but Detroit takes its name from the French word for strait, un des trois. The city of Toronto also comes from an indigenous language, meaning where trees stand in water. This expression comes from the Mohawk language spoken around New York, Quebec, and Ontario. Toronto is located in Canada's largest province by population, Ontario. The name for the province of Ontario comes from the Wyandot language, which means big lake, which makes sense because Ontario has an insane amount of fresh water, including four of the five great lakes which border the United States. Canada has 20% of the world's freshwater supply, a bulk of which is in the province of Ontario. The name for Canada itself also comes from an indigenous language. The word Ganada comes from the Laurentian word for village, which is a nice name since Canada ended up becoming one of the most multicultural countries in the world. The capital of Canada, Ottawa, was named after the Algonquin word Adawe, which means to trade. Ottawa was an important place of trading for a lot of indigenous groups in the area, so it was often referred to as Adawe by Algonquin speakers. The Yukon, known for the Yukon Gold Rush, was also named after an indigenous word. This word comes from the Gwich'in language, which means the White Water River. One of the most challenging American states to spell is by far the state of Massachusetts, which takes its name from the Massachusetts language meaning Big Mountain. Near Massachusetts is the state of Connecticut. The state of Connecticut gets its name from an extinct Algic language called Mohegan Pequot, which was spoken around the Connecticut area. The name means at the long tidal river. The state of Michigan is south of the border with Canada, attached to the Great Lakes. Michigan gets its name from the Ojibwe word for Great Lake. Number 14 is Ohio. Ohio comes from the Seneca word for Good River. Seneca is an Iroquoian language that is severely endangered, spoken around the Great Lakes in Canada and the United States. Finally, the word Dakota from North and South Dakota comes from the name of the indigenous peoples whose traditional territory is in North and South Dakota, the Dakota people. The word Dakota in Dakota language simply means ally. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel with the notifications turned on to be notified of the next episode in the series.